Good morning. Welcome to Module 1, Grade 9 PE. Our topic for today is about indoor, outdoor recreational activities. Fourth quarter, week 1. And our most essential learning competency is discuss the nature and background of indoor and outdoor recreational activities. Are you ready? Let's begin. At the end of the lesson, the learners should be able to 1. Discuss the nature and background of indoor and outdoor recreational activities. 2. Differentiate indoor from outdoor recreational activities, and 3. Share their personal experience in the different activities. But before we go to the text, let us do an activity first. Read and answer each questions and write your answer on your notes. You have 5 seconds to answer each questions. Question number 1. What is the primary reason why one engages in recreational activity? A. Fun. B. Fitness. C. Enjoyment. 4. D. Fundamentals. Good job! The answer is letter A. For fun. Question number 2. Activities such as camping, hiking, orienteering, and swimming are under the category of a. Recreational activities. B. Indoor recreational activities. C. Outdoor recreational activities. 4. D. Active recreation activities. Good job! The answer is letter C. Outdoor recreational activities. Question number 3. Activities done during free time is called A. Enjoyment. B. Recreation. C. Fun. 4. D. Recess. Good job! The answer is letter A. Enjoyment. Question number 4. Activity within the premises of your comfort zone at home or inside the building is called A. Indoor recreation. B. Active recreational activities. C. Outdoor recreational activities. 4. D. Recreational activities. Good job! The answer is letter A. Indoor recreation. And last question. Question number 5. Activity undertaken in a natural, rural or open space outside the confines or buildings, and usually large land area that is close to nature is called a. Indoor recreation. B. Active recreational activities. C. Outdoor recreational activities. 4. D. Recreational activities. Good job! The answer is letter C. Outdoor recreational activities. So before we proceed to our lesson, let's have a short review about our past lesson. We have learned about the different festivals we celebrate here in the Philippines. You have to match column A to column B. In column A are the festivals and in column B are the places of origin. Connect the letter of the origin of the festivals in each number. Column A. 1. Mascara Festival. 2. Atiatihan. 3. Bangas Festival. 4. Panagbenga Festival. And 5. Dinagyang Festival, Column B, A, Calibo, Aklan, B, Dagupan City, C, Iloilo City, D, Bacolod City, and E, Baguio City. You have 10 seconds to answer this activity. Time's up. Let's check your answers. Good job! Now let's proceed to our lesson. Recreation. Recreation, is an activity of leisure, leisure being discretionary time. The need to do something for recreation is an essential element of human biology and psychology. Recreational activities are often done for enjoyment, amusement, or pleasure and are considered to be fun. Some of the activities are less physically active passive that doesn't need to exert extra effort and energy, but others are physically active that requires to burn extra calories. 
The activities that someone voluntarily participate in during their free time are called recreation. There are two types of recreational activities: indoor and outdoor. Indoor recreational activities. Indoor activities are also a part of the recreation program. The word literally tells us that indoor recreation activities are undertaken on the comfort of one's home or more specifically indoor and they are to recreate the mind and soul. Table games, woodwork, photography, computer games or board games, badminton, volleyball and even dancing are some examples of indoor recreational activities. Outdoor recreational activities Outdoor recreation refers to leisure activities that take place in a natural setting and benefit the body, mind and or spirit. Examples are hiking, fishing, trekking, camping or wildlife viewing. The way a person live their life in an everyday basis is called lifestyle. These are the patterns of behavior on how a person typically lives. It includes eating habits, physical activity participation, and recreational choice. A person may belong to the technology generation who choose to spend time in front of the computer rather than playing sports, walking, and moving around. How about eating preferences? Today's teenagers are seen in places like fast food chains indulging with unhealthy foods such as fries, burgers, and drinking too much sugary drinks can cause obesity. Participation in active recreation influences a healthy lifestyle. It improves health condition in many ways. It also helps use the calories better and sustain a desirable weight. Lifestyle change is the best way of preventing illness and early death. Major causes of early death have shifted from infectious diseases to chronic lifestyle related conditions such as heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. How to maintain a healthy lifestyle? 1. Engage in a regular physical activity. 2. Eat healthy food. 3. Find time to manage stress and 4. Follow a good personal healthy habits. Benefits of recreational activities. Recreational activities provide an ideal opportunity to explore and develop a full range of abilities. It develops the majority of our physical, social, creative, intellectual and spiritual perspectives at an early age. Carefully planned and balanced recreation for children delivers the potential of our citizens through play, culture and the arts, leisure learning, sports and travel. A helps to relax. Recreational activities helps to relax and gives soothing effect to the nerves. It helps to release the tension and maintain equilibrium. It is one of the best relaxation techniques to help get back to work in full form. B reduces stress. If tension is taking its toll then recreational activities are best to reduce the stress. C health impact. Recreational activities have a very good impact to a person's health. It is an excellent medicine for ailments which cannot be cured by any other manner. It is a natural way to stay fit and healthy in life. D. Social benefit. It helps to meet like-minded people and develop a favorable rapport. People who shares common interest makes a joyful group that helps each other to promote themselves. Importance of recreation gets reflected in the status build for oneself. E. Refresh the senses. Recreation is the important and best activity to refresh the senses and prepare for the next battle. It rejuvenates the senses, makes feel light again. F. Refills the energy. Recreational activities are best mechanism to refill the energy and feel alive again. It is the best way to charge up when feel exhausted and drained out. G. Quality of life. Recreational activities helps build the self-esteem and confidence. It helps to enhance the quality of life by building a positive self-image. H. Effective time utilization. When the body is at the best of its form both in terms of health and energy, recreational activities helps to utilize time effectively. The effort put in a certain task is way below what could have possibly put without any recreational activity. I sharpen skills. 
The value and benefit of recreational activities is best seen in the form of skills that gets developed and sharpened over the period of time. It's not only to incline to learn more things but is also motivated to be the best. J. Physical Fitness. Recreational activities helps to keep physically fit if it is done regularly. And that's the end of our discussion. And I hope you listen well. Now let's have some activities. For activity 1, it is called Pag May Time. This is an activity that will reveal how you spend 24 hours in a day. By using the matrix below, identify the activities that you do in a day. For the time of the day, morning, afternoon and evening. You need to write your activities and the amount of time spent in the activities. You spend your day attending to your biological needs such as eating, sleeping and rest, or existence, attending to your classes or work, or subsistence, and the time for enjoyment and relaxation, or free time. After filling up the matrix, you have to reflect on the following questions. 1. Which among the activities attend to your biological needs? 2. Which among the activities attend to your classes or work-related? 3. Which among the activities attend to your leisure needs? 4. Why do you engage to those activities? And 5. Which among the activities do you attend most? And that's how you spend 24 hours in a day. Good job! Now let's have activity 2. It is called In or Out. The activity introduces another classification of recreation. You have to copy the Venn diagram in your worksheet. Then classify or identify if the activities are games listed below or held indoor or outdoor by writing on the diagram. The center represents activities that can also be done both indoor and outdoor. Now to wrap up our lesson. After discussing the nature and basic knowledge on achieving a healthy lifestyle through active participation in recreational activities both indoor and outdoor, give at least three to four sentences about the similarities and differences in terms of the following. 1. Physical activity participation. 2. Recreational choice. And 3. Benefits of recreational activities. For our valuing, you have to complete the following phrases to describe your overall assessment of the activity. 1. During my free time, I will. 2. I prefer this recreational activity because. And for the last part, let us check what you have learned about our discussion. Write true if the statement is correct and false if not. You are given 5 seconds for each question. Number 1. When trying to plan for a recreational activity, the best thing to keep in mind is that the activity should be away from home. Very good. The answer is false. Number 2. Recreational activities are often done for enjoyment, amusement, or pleasure and are considered to be fun. Very good. The answer is true. Number three, the activities that someone voluntary participate in during their free time are called recreation. Very good. The answer is true. Number four, participation in active recreation does not improve a healthy lifestyle. Very good. The answer is false. Number five, recreational activities are best mechanism to refill the energy and feel alive again. It is the best way to charge up when feel exhausted and drained out. Very good. The answer is true. And that is the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for listening and see you again next week. Stay safe learners.